All right, let's get started. We've got his uh, master lock. It's the M15 XKADLF. Big beefy looking thing. Master has a little gauge on the side there. They've rated it number 10, their very best padlock. I'm a brand new lock picker. So, kind of been bi curious about sport lock picking all my life. And, uh, Stumbled into a YouTube video a week or so ago and ordered some uh, cheap picks off Amazon and then decided that I wanted a decent set, so ordered a good set. And I've just been playing around. I have no single pin picking skills. Probably obvious by the way I'm stumbling around here. But uh, I'll be using a rake. So that's my uh, city rake. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there. Just a typical rake profile. I've had pretty good luck with that. I've been using it on uh, this little cheap acrylic plastic lock that I got with my cheap set. So I'll see what I can do with this. Hopefully you can see some of this. This is my. Uh, you can tell it's brand new. It's the first time I've played around with this lock, so I have no idea if it'll be anything like the ones I've been used to. Oh, that didn't take long. Well, that's embarrassing for Master Lock that somebody with no real skills can get into it with just a little raking action in a minute or so. See if that was a fluke. I'm just applying. Nope. <laughs> so much for that. I wonder if I can do it with something else. I've got a little snake rake. Let's see if I see if I can get into it with that. I'm uh, pretension. I'm making absolutely sure I don't have any pre-pinned, pre-picked pins on there left over from last time. So I'm reverse tensioning it. To, make sure so again that's the snake rake so I'll be using that little hump side it's gonna got a little hump on there I'll try and rake it with that and see if see if that has any success <laughs> too easy too easy let's see if I can do it with the back side of the snake rake it's got a kind of a belly it's got a hump side and then it's got a Little concave side so as easy as it was with the hump side it probably won't be as easy with the concave side so I'm just applying very light tension on the tension wrench and I'm backing off a little bit sometimes I feel like I'm setting over setting pins and then I back off and let them fall back down and well that's definitely not working as well as the as the humpy side it feels like something's happening in there yeah I'm just shocked that what you know I bought it this lock for like 17 or 18 bucks over at Home Depot figuring I would uh, use it for locking up Milano or something, but I don't think I'd want to do that. I'm glad I kept the receipt. I think I'll be taking it back. And I'm not having too much luck with the uh, the back side of the rake. Snake rake. What else we got? Got a twin peak. I don't know if any of that's showing up or not. So it's just got two little humps on it. So I'll see if that'll do any good. Definitely the city rake seems to be best so far. Yeah, the, the master's best padlock is this susceptible to raking by what by all accounts would be a rank amateur. It's just quite discouraging. Retention, make absolutely sure none of them are pre-picked. I'll try the, the backside, so instead of the peaks, I'm trying to use the, the valleys. 
just to get a feel for how easy it is to get into this lock. I've read or seen some YouTube videos with the people who really know how to pick locks, and I'll put a link in the description for people who came here thinking they might find a lesson on lock picking. This is not that. Yep, so the back side of the Twin Peaks opens it. They are uh, dissing master locks as not being very secure, and I can definitely see why now. That's just shamefully bad. What else I got? I've got the, uh, the triple peak, similar to a Bogota, I think they call it. So I'll try using the peaks on that. And I'm not even particularly good at raking. There's a technique to raking. And, you know, while I can't single pin pick at all, I can rake a little bit. But there are people who are really good at raking, have a really good feel for the inside of a lock. And, you know, I'm not at that level even, so. Yep. Uh, felt like something was happening there, but not quite. Yeah, my technique, don't. Don't try and emulate any of this. This is just rank amateur versus uh, master's best. So that is the only point of this video. It definitely wasn't to demonstrate my prowess at picking locks because I don't have any at this point. I do have a practice lock on order, so should be here in a day or two, and I'll get to practicing some single pin picking. Not having too much luck with the, the three peaks. Again, probably just lack of skill. And I'm not really raking in the traditional sense of scrubbing pins in them. More of a rocking motion to randomly align pins at the shear line. And hopefully some are coming up, some are coming down, and they'll just line up just randomly. So there's this isn't like single pin picking where you see someone methodically go through and doing all the things, the right things in the right order. This is just randomly bashing away at pins and more often than not getting them to line up well I think I'll give up on that for now and try the valleys see if I have any better luck with the valleys oh almost felt like it was going there yep so I guess my advice is uh Watch the other guys who are good and learn what they do to pick locks. And there are some excellent resources on YouTube. And don't buy a master lock. I saved my receipt. I think I'm going to take this one back because uh, it's not even really worth practicing on. It's, I mean, I guess I could practice single pin picking on it. You might get some challenge out of it, but I can stick a city rake in there and probably pick it open and pretty quick order. Let's go back to my city rake and see if... Jeez, that's just shameful. Master Lock, what were you thinking?